All right, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys was this set of films and a TV show. So these are basically my keepers. Um, I'm not going to get rid of them, and it's hard to get these films off of my uh, of this list. Uh, these are just my all-time favorites for whatever reason. Um, I can dive deeper into them later on, but <clears throat> some of the things that are in here um, are films that just blew me away the first time I saw them. The Last Days of Disco, for example, one of my, if not my top film, it's in the top three for sure. Um, Samsara, that, that film is just excellent. Okay, so what are in here? I believe the, the shelf has 25 films. Uh, Chunking Express. <clears throat> um, this is a Tarantino Rolling Thunder Pictures Presents. Um, this one is just an absolutely amazing film. Um, Wong Kar Wai's best film in my opinion. Here, all-time favorite, Spinal Tap. We're still looking for the drummer. Um, Jeeves and Wooster. God, this show is amazing. A friend of mine, my, my roommate Kate, showed me this um, a few years back, and I just fell in love with it. Um, I think my, the, my favorite episode is uh, the second episode in season one. Um, just brilliant. Brilliant TV show. Uh, very young uh, Hugh Laurie and Stephen Fry. All right, some other films in here. We've got Brazil. Oh, Brazil. What an amazing film. Lobert Jespanol. Pie. I think Aronofsky's um, best film. Got Vicky Cristina, uh, Woody Allen flick. We've got here <clears throat> No Country for Old Men. God, this that's a, such an amazing film. What else do we have? We've got Samsara and Pina. Samsara, wow. This is this film is just so timeless in my opinion. Um, I forget when it was made, but much better than Barack, in my opinion, um, but still just an amazing film. Uh, what else do we have? We've got my top uh, Kubrick film. Oh, Alex. <clears throat> Which also, um, Malcolm McDowell is uh, one of my favorite actors. He is excellent in, in If. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely give it a try. All right, so we have here things like Tom Popo and The Last Days of Disco. Wit the Shit Stillman. Oh my gosh, this guy is brilliant. This film just defined, I think, what the, you know, the format for like a fast-paced, witty, like, uh, dialogue for me. Even better than Tarantino, in my opinion. A Japanese noodle western. That's all you need to know if you haven't seen it. This is an excellent film. Hidden gem, I think, for, uh, uh, for the most part. Um, oh, jeez. Sans Soleil. Sans Soleil. Le Jeti, um, of course, the, uh, the basis for 12 Monkeys, but Chris Marker, um, he, I haven't seen a, a lot of his films, but, um, I've, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if I want to see anymore, because I'm so sort of enamored by Sans Soleil, but still, an absolutely excellent film. We have Ball Rocket, um, My Dinner with Andre, that's, that's a really good one. Oh, Zoos, good morning. Um, this one, I'm considering switching out with 
maybe um, uh, I think he did Tokyo Story also. I could be wrong, but um, anyway, this one's a really good one. Alma Dovar's uh, Time Me Up, Time Me Down. Um, also has a young uh, uh, Antonio Banderas in it. It in this like it's sort of like a that Stockholm Syndrome uh, film where um, Antonio Banderas goes berserk and uh, kidnaps uh, this woman, and slowly she becomes she falls in love with him. Uh, not really a, a great topic or a good moral, but I think uh, it's a compelling film. Sofia Coppola. Great film. Um, I think another one of her, her films, uh, oh, Lost in Translation, is also one of my favorites. But this one's really good. <clears throat> um, got Mulholland Drive. Oh my goodness! Yes, of course. Um, David Lynch. Can't how we can how can we forget about David Lynch? But um, he's represented here. I think this is his best for sure. Uh, we've got others like. Um, Hiroshima Mon Amour, Solaris. Uh, I, I haven't seen The Stalker, so I, I'm wondering whether uh, The Stalker will replace, replace Solaris um, once I see it. But for now, this is my favorite of uh, his films. <clears throat> uh, Tu Mama Tambien. Um, Alfonso Cuarón's early film, very, oh my gosh, this is an excellent film. Amelie, um, how can you go wrong? I mean, it's it's such a visually stunning and, and sort of like, you know, like, I guess, really uh, girly and, and, and goody, um, good feeling film. So those are my very hard to get uh, to knock off the pedestal or off the shelf and one of my, I'd say my top 25 films um, in no order in particular. Now let's take a look at the rest. All right, so this next set of films and TV shows are things that um, I've seen and I know I've seen recently and I know I'm gonna get rid of them because I definitely don't like them. And then some uh, shows that I'm definitely gonna keep and some movies that I haven't seen yet. So starting off with the things that I've seen and are likely to, um, to get rid of. So starting with the shows, we've got Seinfeld season one, two, and three. Uh, it's it's a great show, you know, it's it's a funny show, but I think ultimately I've, I don't know, it's kind of, uh, it's time to move on from the show, basically. Um, we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy um, with the BBC TV show, which actually I have not seen, so I'm going to put that in this pile. Uh, we've got Space Ghost, um, this is volume three. Uh, yeah, I mean, Space Ghost is, is good, it's fine, but for some, for with me, it just doesn't seem to stick. Um, here is uh, season one, uh, we've got Robot Chicken, uh, there's a lot of great episodes in here, but, um, just ultimately is just not for me, I guess. We've got season one and season two. And then Squidbillies. Now Squidbillies is actually really funny, but I don't know, it's, I just feel like somehow I don't want to collect it. Um, and it's kind of hard to um, watch it, um, you know, like unless you have other people to laugh with you. Uh, we've got Decisive Battles is going away. Um, several, uh, there might be, I don't know, 10 to 15 battles in here. A lot of it is 
actually really good, but the CGI is, is off of uh, like the um, Total War um, video games. So, and this was circa you know like uh, maybe two thousand eight or two thousand nine. So, um, great information, but laughable animation. All right, movies are going away that I've seen recently. <clears throat> um, I've had this movie, I've seen it several times, um, Anatomy of a Murder, but in the end, it's, I don't know, it's not something I want to see again. Um, <clears throat> we've got here Jim Carrey's, uh, well, Jim Carrey's in, I don't know who, not sure who directed it, but anyway, pretty funny um, early Jim Carrey film. But I can I can leave it. Uh, oh, M. Night Shyamalan, um, Unbreakable. Uh, I never did see um, the second and, and third in the series, but this I I can get rid of. Uh, Goodfellas, uh, it was okay. It wasn't as great as everybody was claiming it to be. Um, Uncle Buck is funny, but. <clears throat> Um, definitely um, something I take leave. Logan is fine. Everything is illuminated. Um, had Elijah Wood in it. It's actually a really good film, but um, I don't know. It's just doesn't stick with me, so it's going away. Got another. Um, got Alfonso Cuarón here. Children of Men. It's got a character named Jasper in it, but it's still going to go away. <clears throat> Michael Caine is Jasper, I believe, in this one. Um, or Jasper is Michael Caine. <clears throat> um, uh, did I talk about Logan? Yeah, Logan's going away. It was fine. I mean, it was, you know, it's just another Marvel movie to me. We've got The Reader. Um, first couple times I saw it, I was... I, was, um, I loved it, but... Uh, I don't think I'll be seeing it too many more times. Uh, it is, uh, it was, I don't know, that's not my subject. Um, <clears throat> Dunkirk, uh, this one actually is a keeper, but I do have um, somehow bought a second copy of it. Um, Skyfall, yeah, it was good. It had um, uh, Javier Bardem in it. Um, it was good, but actually, I think one of the more interesting um, James Bond films, Creed Two. Um, I think Creed One, Creed One was better. Um, Creed Two, yeah. Uh, Ex Machina. This was okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so now, TV shows that I'm going to keep. <clears throat> Um, so I've got, and I'm still collecting some of these, but I've got Samurai Jack, um, great, great, great series. I only have season one and three. I need to find the rest of them. Mr. Show, oh my gosh, this is so good. Uh, David Cross and Bob Odenkirk. Of course, Firefly, that's a keeper. Such, you know, this is a shiny for sure. Um, we've got Rome. Uh, season one and two, great, great um, series. We've got the Granddaddy. We've got BSG, all seasons. Um, I don't have Serenity um, in here, but uh, it's probably it probably should be a part of it. But as a, the TV series itself, uh, um, that's a keeper. And we have Band of Brothers, <clears throat> excellent, um, excellent series. Um, very like really elevated I think um, uh, Saving Private Ryan for me you know that as far as like the realism and how the story unfolds with this um, I don't know if they're a platoon or a battalion um, but anyways great great show uh, and films that I have not seen yet um, and I'll decide later on whether they're going to stay or go but I'm trying to keep it to probably 10 different TV series and around 125 movies. So we've got um, 
Hitchhiker's Guide, of course, we haven't seen. Uh, Wings of Desire, I think uh, this is Wim Vendors, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Woman uh, in the Dunes, haven't seen it yet. Um, Cinema Paradiso, or Paradiso. Casablanca, I still haven't seen it yet. Um, <laughs> Pastimes of Ridgemont High. Metropolis, have not seen it. I've seen parts of it, but uh, this one's a Friends movie that um, I need to get back to her, but yeah, I'm actually interested in this one. Um, the Lure, uh, sort of like a, a foreign noir. Um, and then Silent Ozu, um, the great Yozujiro Ozu, love his films. Um, I'm interested to see what this one's all about. So those are some of the films that are and TV shows that are definitely going away and some that are definitely staying and some of that I haven't seen. So now let's go to the meat of the bulk of the, uh, the films that I'm gonna either keep or get rid of. <laughs>